I hope everyone enjoyed that as much as um, I did. Um, the next person we've got up to present their work is Vera Delari from Greece. Welcome, Vera. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, good afternoon from Athens. And uh, thank you so much for the invitation and for the opportunity to present the work of our network, which consists of 250 schools. Uh, I'm pleased to see that many of our teachers have registered for the event and the workshops. So I take the opportunity to talk about the aim of our work, which is no other than to promote the humanistic vision of UNESCO, the ideals and values, as well as to raise awareness and call for action. Uh, until now, we have seen and heard wonderful ideas and projects uh, on Connecting for Peace, and Mrs. Sogura's speech was so touching, but shocking as well. Could you now please start the video for me? Okay, thank you. Uh, well, uh, our school's work is built on the goal to construct the defenses of peace in the mind, in the minds of children and young people. Through projects on ESD and global citizenship, the great importance of living in peaceful world and society is emphasized. Having that in mind, we contributed to the recent UNESCO's report the new social contract for education through consultations in focus group discussions for teachers, students, and parents. As mentioned in this report, we need to build capabilities that make students autonomous and ethical thinkers and doers. Uh, in the video, you have seen some highlights of our school activities under the pillar learning to live together. And there are some more in the other pillars, but time was limited. It is important that our teachers have brought UNESCO's values and priorities into other projects and networks, Erasmus Plus, Sitwini, and have established cooperation with schools all over the world. The challenge is to be active and to do things 
in order to create an environment of security, friendship, and solidarity among young people in periods of peace. In this framework, the voices of our students were brought at global level through their participation in UNESCO conferences like the Global Students Forum, international campaigns such as Trash Hack or UNESCO's video like the one for COP26 where our student called participants to join forces to learn for our planet so that we can act for our planet. Moreover, it is important, and it was mentioned earlier from another speaker, to make students understand that peace can also be built within, within us by adopting techniques of dialogue and active listening. The following project was designed in this direction. In uh, this school, if students felt that they were not able to resolve the dispute, they asked the mediation school committee to intervene. This committee consisted of four students chosen for their consensual character. The conclusion was behavioral agreements. Many pro uh, projects focus on SDGs, especially 16 and 17. From kindergarten to senior high school, students participated in activities concluded that the strength to maintain peace is in people's hands. In some other schools, touched by the refugee crisis and the recent war, students took initiatives to raise awareness in the community. They formed the sign of peace in a circle as a clear message against violence and war, and they organized days of solidarity, friendship and peace with the participation of refugee students. Furthermore, school projects on cultural heritage were implemented. Our school participated, one of our schools participated in the pilot UNESCO EU project on teaching and learning in heritage at school-based education. This, is, uh, this photo is from a workshop in ancient Olivia for teachers. And that reminds me the tree we were talking in the beginning, UNESCO trees. Culture and education going hand by hand contribute to the maintenance of peace. The different cultures form a multicultural mosaic and students through various activities came to the conclusion that when people are united, the world becomes a wonderful place. Digital stories, fairy tales of diversity and artwork, gaming and coding activities were used as well in many projects. Exploring the approach of active learning and project-based learning, students were acti actively engaged in order to enhance their skills of inquiry and debate and to be prepared for future challenges in the real world. An interesting activity is that students in a pre-primary school were asked to create a bridge using building blocks. Then they crossed this bridge while looking after each other they understood that by helping and supporting each other and respecting their needs, a safe environment can be created. To sum up, it was proved in numerous ways through all the projects that peace can prevail and that education roles in reaching this goal is defining. Dear colleagues, thank you for your attention and I'm, I'm looking forward to our further cooperation. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Vera, and also for being to the second on your timing. Extremely good. Thank you so much. I think what strikes me from you, you said earlier in your presentation, the strength to maintain peace is, is found in people's hearts. That to me was the core of, of, of what you said in your presentation across all age groups. Thank you so much for your time. Anne. Thank you very much, Vera. And I'm sorry I muted myself and cut off your video sound. <laughs> I'm don't really... worry, don't worry. Because the image is very powerful, so it's okay. <laughs> I think the message was sent. <laughs>